Welcome back. In this video we're going to see how to get our software to give us the least squares regression line and then we'll use the line to make predictions. So recall our age cholesterol data. Now we've said that it appears that there's a linear relationship between total cholesterol and age. As age increases, total cholesterol tends to increase at a roughly constant rate. And so at this point, what we're doing is trying to find the equation of the straight line that would serve as a good model for this linear relationship. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to go to Stat, Regression, Simple Linear, Now our x variable is age, the y variable is total cholesterol, and at this point we don't need to change any of these other options. So we'll click Compute, and, and here's our regression output. So now in this course we're not going to worry about quite all of this output. However, there are several things we need to think about. For now, we want to think about the regression equation. And so that's given right here. Our regression equation is total cholesterol equals 151.35366, maybe we'll just call it 151.4, plus about 1.399 times age. So notice that StatCrunch gives us that regression equation directly. And notice down here in the parameter estimate section, it also gives us those values for the y-intercept and the slope. So now, a common use for this kind of regression model is to use the model for prediction. Let me use this model to predict the total cholesterol for a 42-year-old woman. So here's our regression equation. It's total cholesterol hat, and remember that hat represents uh, the fact that this is going to be a predicted value. It's the predicted total cholesterol for a 42-year-old woman. So its total cholesterol hat is equal to 151.4 plus 1.399 times age. So we're going to plug in 42 for age. We can do this calculation in our calculator and we're going to get total cholesterol hat is equal to 210.158. That is our predicted cholesterol for a 42-year-old woman is about 210. So you do want to be able to do something like this by hand, but of course we can also get the software to give it to us as well. So to get the software to give us that predicted cholesterol for a 42-year-old woman, I'm going to go back into the regression model under Options select Edit, and now I'm going to need to scroll down to the option here for predict y for x equals. Well, we want to predict cholesterol when age is equal to 42, so I'm going to say predict y for x equals 42. Compute. And here's our regression output again. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we're going to get in the predicted value section, when x equals 42, our predicted y is about 210, just what we had calculated by hand.